All right. So welcome. I'm Ronita. I'm a Purposeful Point. Thank you, ladies, for painting with me. And today we are painting this uh, tub of flowers. <laughs> it looks really interesting, but you guys, it's very straightforward. And uh, I know you guys can handle this one. <laughs> So uh, we're going to paint our background. Well, actually, I did not paint my background first. I painted my tub first. And uh, actually, it looks, I can tell that I just painted all the way around everything. <laughs> Usually, I don't do that. I like to do my background first because uh, it's easier instead of trying to paint around something. But since this was such a large mass, it's kind of uh, easier. It's not that bad to paint around. And then also, I... Um, you know, I didn't go in all the way to the edges. So just, just kind of, I was just trying to fill in the background. So this way we do this. And then if you want a background or you can choose the background that you want to do that you would like for your background. So I am using painting on 11 by 14 canvas paper. And we are using the colors, uh, black and white. That's what I use for my background. Or if you have gray, you can use the gray. Uh, my tub, it's going to be uh, s different shades of gray as well, which you can mix with the black and white. Just depends on how much white you add to make the black, um, the grayer color. And then my my flowers are pink. You can use, choose, and choose your own color, you know, whatever you want to choose your flowers to be. I do have a, a pink, a pale pink, and a darker pink. And then also just to throw some highlights and just to break it up a little bit, you can see I threw in some blue, a teal color, blue, put some in the flowers in the, on the tub as well. So um, let's go ahead and get painting. I am going to draw the tub. Um, I'm going to use a paintbrush to do the tub. And I usually kind of do it in, a, in white because we can cover up that white. And I do have a cup of water. I'm just not sure where I put it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I left it in the bathroom. Right. Of water. And I'm going to draw a tub. I'm going to paint a tub. <laughs> kind of put an outline on here with my brush. I hope you guys can see it. Can you see the tub? Scoot it up a little bit. There we go. Nice tub. And I'm going to use white paint. Well, I guess I can't use white paint because I'm painting on a white background. I won't be able to see it. So I'm just going to use some gray because our tub is gray. And then it, I'll be able to uh, cover up any lines at the end if I want to, to change it up. So you're going to go with a dark gray or a light gray? A light gray, like so that I can cover it up if I need to. Okay. Or change the color or anything like that. It'll be easy. It's something easy that I can paint over. So um, I would say that it's a U, but it's a little oddly shaped U. Kind of a boxy U. You guys see that? And then one side is up a little bit higher. And again, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, or what is that? Um, I can't even think of the kind of tub that that this is supposed to be. But claw foot tub, claw foot tub. <laughs> I had one in a an apartment I rented when I was in college. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so <It was> cute. <laughs> yeah, but that's about all I could say for it. Mm -hmm. That it's. Okay. I just kind of went over and I'm going back over so you guys can see what my brush strokes were. Just that kind of a U, but a boxy U. And one side I have up a little bit higher than the other side. Okay. And I am going to put a lip on the side and just kind of a 
flow up to that other one. And then I'll bring it over a little bit so that the a little bit over the edge so it'll have a bit of a lip. Okay, see I have one over here. And then I also have one over here. And then just depending on how thick you want that that lip. I'm coming back around. Yeah. And again, my hand's so shaky. It does not have to be even. <laughs> but you get the gist of it, mm -hmm. okay? Everybody have their, their tub and now I'm just gonna fill that in. I'm gonna get my uh, one inch brush. Well, this is a, I think it's a three quarters, but my flat brush and I'm just gonna fill it in with my, black and white mixture mixture and this one is going to be a lighter on the lighter side of the gray and so you can see on my example that it's you know we're going to put some accents on top you can see that those are kind of block it but basically just a solid um gray color and then i'll add some uh the darker gray around the edges it just gives the tub a little bit of dimension so go ahead and fill in inside of your tub our lip is going to be a little bit lighter we'll add some more more white to our so mix up and when you do mix up your gray make sure you mix up enough to cover the whole tub because that's always a challenge you mix a color that you like and you don't mix up enough to cover the area that you are painting so we're going to do that We got lucky today. It's a pretty nice day, but there are some uh, tornado warnings in effect in some cities that are near here. Not so much here yet, but of course, we'll get that residual weather regardless of whether we get the tornado or not, but there has been a spotting about two hours away, a touchdown. And also, it is spring break at University of Kentucky. So I have a college student home for the week. I thought they were all here in Florida. No, that's way too far for my boys. Well, I just have the one in college and he's uh, an hour and 15 minutes away in uh, at, in Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yes, considering he doesn't like to come home, I have to go up there. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he's close. So I am um I'm adding a little bit of I see one person jumping in. Renee, Renee, you should be glad that he's home. Um spring break got crazy. I used to go, but I used to go visit my grandparents and get pampered or <clears throat> go visit somewhere else. And I never went to the craziness because that wasn't for me, but me. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad he's home and safe and Hopefully getting like his laundry done and eating you out of house and home. <laughs> right, right. I love it. I love that he's home. I, I went shopping. Uh, I think I called in a grocery order and picked it up on Monday uh, so that he can have all, you know. His favorites. Can, yes, he can have his favorite stuff that he really doesn't get uh, at, at, um, at school, like a meal. They do try to cook, but. It's it's not the same as uh, at home. <laughs> <laughs> so now for my edges, I am like I said, I want the uh, the outer the outline kind of a darker color, a darker yeah. gray. And I who did I just have come in? Um, Patrice, is that who I just come in? Welcome, thanks for joining us. As you can see, we kind of already get started. I always try to start um, 
by at least 635 if we're scheduled for 630. So you can see that I've um you can jump in and paint that kind of a U off a, a boxy U. <laughs> so now guys, I am I want to put that um that darker area kind of all the way around. And the way I'm doing that, I'm still using my flat brush. Now, if you guys want to go be more comfortable, if you went to a uh, a smaller brush, you can. But I'm gonna put the take the corner of my brush, and I I dip that corner in in black paint actually, because I want it to be dark. So you can see I have a corn that corner, and then now I'm gonna drag my cool. that corner around the edges of my uh, my tub so that I'm kind of making it like I said I want that darker a darker outline okay and if it's too dark I just go back over it with my brush because I don't want like a, a a solid black line and if it's too dark I just dip my brush in gray the gray that I'm using for the tub and go over top of it until it lightens up or yeah, lightens up to what I want. So my tub is a little bit off because of the way I'm sitting. I'm trying to paint um, upside down. So, but you make sure your tub is correct. <laughs> Don't follow me on that part. <laughs> uh So then I'm still going to add a little more gray. I mean, yeah, gray to my brush so that I can um, blend in that darker area a little bit so it doesn't look like a black line. Now, I also want to do the same thing for my lip to go underneath that lip, take that same corner. And that's why it's a lot easier sometimes to paint flat so that you can uh, move the canvas instead of trying to angle your brush or your arm. But sometimes it's easier to move the canvas instead of uh, having to do it that way. So I'm going to grab, drag that corner underneath the lip, kind of dark. So I want to go back over it with a little bit of my gray so that it's uh, not as dark. There you have it. You can see that it's kind of darker, but not like a black, a complete black line. And then I want to add my, you guys, do I have enough light? I feel like it's dark or is it just me?
So now I want to, that was short lived. I want to fill in my the lip. And that's going to be uh, a lighter gray. So now your, your gray mixture or your black, whichever you chose to work with, you want to lighten it up with more white. Mm -hmm. You decide how light you want it to be, but I just want to make sure that it's a different shade than the, um, the body of the tub. And really, you don't have to do too much lighter because we have that kind of a darker outline. So it's definitely going to be kind of set apart. And when you're doing that, be careful. I actually grab some of the darker paint on my brush because it's still kind of wet and bought it into the lighter area. But I... Just blended it in a little bit. Okay. And also you can go ahead and uh, use that same lighter gray to put those claw foot, those claw foot feet, <laughs> the claw feet on the, on the tub. Those tubs are cute, but it was pretty tiny to take any kind of bath. They had it rigged up with a shower, but mm, not much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't um I don't remember ever having to take a bath in one. It was a really old area that used to be like those used to be homes for tourists that came for like a spring that they had there. Mm -hmm. In what city? At, at Tampa, Florida. Actually, it was uh, Zephyr Hills was the spring. Okay. Yeah, I lived in an apartment with one and they're very they're very nice to look at. You see them in magazines. It's all in these elegant bathrooms, but it's not practical, like to get in and out and, you know, <laughs> cleaning under it. And, you know, it's, it's, yeah. uh, it's nice to look at, but you don't want to own one. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. I look at all of the home, home makeover shows and they all want one of those tubs. And I was like, never. Never. I don't care if I had enough money to, to get one. Never. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want one, trust me. No. <laughs> so now we're going to grab those uh, probably uh, at the prop, the corner part and uh, kind of a almost like a S to make the, the shape of the, the little. The I don't know how you did that. It's like an S, uh -huh. but maybe, you know, one of them's going to be back and a backwards S, but it's not like, a, it's so really it's open, a really open S, not like you're doing the, the huge circles, maybe like a half circle S. Let's see. I'm, yeah, I'm just using the lighter paint as well, but um, it, it's an S. One of them's going to have to be a backwards S. But it's like an open, don't make it the full S. You know what I mean, guys? Not the, with the circles, just kind of a, a half. So you might have one that works and one that's not. So yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I did all right with the first one, the second one, not so much. But when I look at it in the camera, hey, uh, it looks good. <laughs> so, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> they look like feet to me now. Well, and that's what they're supposed to look like, the clawfoot tub. So perfect. <laughs> but these look like feet they are going to take off with the whole thing. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? Maybe a little bit darker underneath my tub, my lip. I didn't thought it was kind of um, kind of running together, so. So now we're ready to dive into our, we'll let all of that dry. And um, the flowers, we're ready to dive into our flowers. So I, uh, looks like I have four. You can put as many as you like, big or small, whatever you decide on that. And I'm gonna take my lighter pink. So if you have a pink, and you want to go ahead and my back, my base, if, if you're using pink, whatever color, if you use purple, you want a darker shade of purple and a lighter shade of purple. So you decide whatever colors, if you want to do blue, pink, orange, yellow, just whatever. You know what? Yellow would really look good on this black and white. Makes me want it. But yellow would look good as well. So... I am going to grab my brush. I am using, this is, well, this is a filber brush, uh -huh. okay. but you have, I'm using, I'm not using my larger uh, three and a quarter flat brush, but I'm, I, you can either use one, this flat brush like this one or the filber brush, but you see what size it is. And again, I can tell you the size, but every brand has its own numbers, numbering system. So you, I can tell you a half, like this one says a half, but um, I don't know. Is that a half? This I one's the 12. So everything's going to be um, different. So I showed you what size this is for me. And then really, you're still going to work with what works best for you. So now I'm going to make... Five, four circles. I'm having. I'm gonna have four flowers. So I'm gonna make four circles, and you make those circles um, as big or small as you like. Keep in mind that these circles are gonna be the size of whatever you want your flowers to be. So uh, they don't have to be. As you can see, the detail that I put inside those uh, the buds, they don't. It doesn't have to be opaque flat, completely f covered. Like if there is some spaces that are lighter and still open, it's okay because we're going to be layering the paint. So don't be concerned with... I feel like I made mine too light. I'm putting more color. Well, it doesn't... Again, we're going to be layering. We're going to put on another layer of paint. It's okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So even like after if we put this down, I see where I've added some dark, the darker pink. I've added white. I've added blue. So we're going to be layering. So it's not imperative that everything is like a solid. It's not opaque and completely covered. Like my example of we're not painting a wall. So when you paint a wall, you want to make sure there's all, the paint is completely even and there's no um, variations in the paint. In this situation, it's okay if it's any some variations in the paint. It's okay. And guys, uh, a lot of times we have a tendency to paint tiny and small. Um, now, based on the size of your tub, you want to make sure you make, make some nice size circles to fill up your tub. No tiny flowers in this big, huge tub, okay? Well, you got to have room for the stems and all that too, right? No? Sure, sure. If you want to put some stems in there, absolutely. 
So I think I went really big. Either my tub is really tiny or my buds are really big. But I'm gonna, this is abstract painting, guys. So it's okay if it looks unusual. There you go. <laughs> The main thing is that I always have fun Thursdays with you. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. If you can't laugh at yourself, then um, you're in the wrong place. Okay, doing simple circles. Yep, just simple circles. Mm -hmm. I had to walk out. Two minutes too long. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's time to blast off. That's right. Blast off. I'm going to mute it so I, you don't hear us yelling. <laughs> Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. I didn't, um, I missed your name on there. I haven't seen Suzanne in a while. Welcome. Um, um, so now if you have your circles up there, now I'm going to go with my darker pink. Or a color. Uh, now I think like if you have a pink, Pink blue would make pink darker if you wanted to do it that way. Uh, now, I was using my filbert brush to fill that in. Now, filbert brush is really good for blending. And at this time, I really don't want my uh, pink, my pinks to blend. So I'm going to go back to, you can either go back to a pointer brush. Uh, let me show you a pointer brush that would be... Um, You could go back to a pointer brush, but when I say a pointer brush, you see it's pretty big. So it's going to give me some pretty uh, nice size lines. Yes. Nice size lines. So that's why I'm in, in the filler brush is, like I said, it's primarily for, not primarily, but it's really good for blending. And I don't want it to blending. I want my mines to be distinctive. So you can use the pointer brush the bigger pointer brushes, or you guys, I know I love my flat brushes as well. So now I'm gonna, and you guys see, just kind of make lines around till I get to the center. Can you see how that, I just made short lines, short strokes. I don't, I don't want them to connect. I don't want them to be even. And then when I, I, have, I have my ones on the outside and then the ones on the inside, I'm not going to line them up with the ones on the outside. I want them to kind of be opposite. So where I left spaces in between the three here, I am going to, on the inside, not touching, add some lines there. Okay, can you see the flower starting to take shape and you can make them thicker you can make them thinner i'm not sure i kind of like the thicker ones so keep that in mind so let me go in there kind of leave spaces and if the uh like i said if they are thicker it's okay it kind of gives it a little bit of a different look if some of them are thicker I think my paint is too wet. It's not going to have too good. <laughs> your pink is too, your base is too wet? Yeah. Okay. Because it's blending. Yeah. It's all right. Okay. It's okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and add this part and then we'll jump to... Um, kind of uh, painting our background so that we can let the flowers dry. 
So that way, that way your flowers can be dr drying and then when we go, uh, or you can, uh, after they dry, you can add some uh, more of your darker. Yeah, yeah, you can at least put one coat on, okay? And then we'll come back that yeah, way. No, something on there, but I could, I could do it again. Because if you're having that problem, other folks might be having the yeah, same Yeah, I'm problem. having the same problem. Yeah. So, and see, for me, the reason mines are dry is, again, because I'm using paper and paper absorbs the paint. So it kind of changes everything. So let's work on our background. What color do you want your background? Again, my background is the, the black and the white. And it's really pale. You can see that it's really pale. I really made it light. Um, if you want to make it look like it's outside and put green on the background, you can do it that way. Or, um, well, for me, I was trying to be black and white and then a pop of color with the pink. And then um, later I threw in, I was like, well, let me, the blue is different. It gives it that um, more abstract twist to it. So I threw the blue in there. So you decide what you want your background to be. But I am going to go back to my larger brush because it's my larger area. And then again, I, and I, like I said, when we're doing our background, you don't have to get really close to the subject. If you look at my example, you can see how much white is still between my background paint and those legs on the tub. So you don't have to go all and even look at my flower, the flowers. You can see that there's a little bit of white around there. You don't have to um, get in tight with that background. Just put something in the background. Just add some color. So I just want to add some color to the background. It's just what I want to do. And it doesn't have to be um, a solid you know, field area, so. Oh, goodness. <laughs> and I'll be wetting my brush a lot because I, I, I thin it out. So it's just a light shade, but at least I have some color in my background. Just kind of painting around where it's not, um, I don't have to worry about. And then I'm going in whatever direction. Too. Uh, so you're going in different directions. Okay. Yes, whatever gets me the paint on the canvas. I, because we're not, if I try to go vertical up and down the whole way, then that's really kind of like, it'll slow me down because I have to be careful not to paint on something. So now I'm going across the bottom, back and forth. I don't have to worry about that. So no direction is just uh, kind of a, I always say whimsical, but sometimes when you look up whimsical, that it's not always what we're painting. <laughs> mm. It's just fun. I'm going uh, some vertical, some horizontal. To me, it's kind of fun to play with the um, the different directions because it plays with the textures. It gives you different textures. And then I think when I was working on this, I, I wanted to do, I've been working with my AI and this wasn't AI, but I was working with the AI and I got a picture. I wanted like a plaid background, like, oh I mean, Yes, but not like a busy plaid, just where I like maybe take a light color and uh because the background has to be light because I don't want the background to overtake the subject. So just um maybe a couple of lines going one way and then come back with them going the opposite and give that kind of a background and then uh purple flowers. And I I I said that to the AI thing and it it gave me like a, a tan color plaid and uh, more too much detail in the plaid. So I'm still playing around with that one. So 
yeah, that's um. Just want to make sure, put some color in the background, and that's what we have. No direction, just uh, and then too with the uh, with a little bit of background, it gives uh, it brings the flowers out a little bit. So that's all I wanted to do. And then also while we do that, it gives the uh, our um, buds would definitely be dry by now. We're like really close. Again, it also depends on how much paint you put on there. Um, so. Just an update for anybody who wants to know the launch got scrubbed again. Oh, they, wow. Yeah, you know, they're not going to let it go until it's perfect because they've got 24 satellites on board. Did they I, say why I, they had to scrub it? <laughs> they never say. They just say it's scrubbed off. And it's usually in the last couple of minutes. You know, the computer goes and runs through a bunch of stuff and if they find something wrong, they just scrub it. So they, I think they're going to try again tomorrow night. Oh, okay. I say why they have to it. Sorry, I pulled up the because I always forget I'm on YouTube, and um, if somebody is chatting with me, I totally, I would totally miss it. <laughs> but um, next, let's add some um before we kind of go into the the bud. Let's add some. Um, I, you can see I have my leaves are black again, going with the black and white thing, but, um, you can do your leaves, whichever color that you would like. So I'm going to add a stem to this one, either, although it's abstract, I still kind of want to connect it and add a stem going out to that one. That's kind of up that way. And uh, you can take the flat brush instead of painting with the brush horizontal. I turn it vertical and it makes great straight lines. Let me show you what, what I mean by that. Uh oh, see that? A great straight line up to that. Um, but, nice. Yep. And then um, this one too, although it doesn't seem as foreign that it's... Uh, sticking out or anything. And the ones in the middle are in the middle and I say the stems are covered, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, I'm gonna make them a little bit thicker. And then now I can figure out where I want some leaves. I'm gonna kind of do the leaves almost the way I did the the claw feet. That one's kind of small. Let me get a little bit bigger with that one. We'll leave there. And then I have one here that's kind of hanging over the rim. And you can kind of uh, think of it like a, almost like a heart and make a leaf coming down like that. Then fill it in. <laughs> and I am using a smaller uh, brush as well. So you can go to that pointer brush, the, the bigger pointer brush or smaller, which one ever is, you know, most comfortable for you. Okay. Wow. Add some more leaves. You can add as many as you like, put them in there wherever you think, um, a leaf should be. Okay. 
Okay. And where else can I do a leaf? That one looks a little bit funny, but it's a leaf. Now, my example didn't have one here, but I felt like it was, hmm, I might regret it, but there's my leaf. <laughs> okay. And again, you choose what color you like your um, leaves to be. And so now we're going to, I'm ready to jump back into those uh, flowers. Like I said, I'm now I'm going to grab some white. And where I put my white, it's kind of, I'm not going to put the white over that darker orange. I'll put it in spaces where there's not anything there. And it doesn't have to cover up the whole, all of the, the pink areas, just little short strokes in there, guys, just to give it that look of um, like an abstract rose. It started, the lines are not, um, the outlines of the roses, it's not distinctive, it's just kind of blurred. And that's what we're kind of going for. And I'm going to do that to... Um, all my rows. It's just a little short stroke. Doesn't have to be exact. Don't worry about. I just like them quick. That way you're not thinking about um, trying to make them perfect or anything. So just a little short strokes. And uh, also, this is the time I did. We talked about some of you guys is it's still kind of wet. So this will be a good time. Also, to take that darker pink and put a second coat on the darker pink so that now that it's kind of dry and so that it'll um, stand out, look a little bit better. So you guys can do that. Um, let's get that white in first. Cause I'm, well, I'm just kind of wondering because I don't want it to, um, Because we're, it's a smaller area. You are going to still get some of the, the pink and the white to blend a little bit. I'm, uh, I just have some of my, like you guys, I talked about putting a little bit of more of the darker pink in there, darken it up a little bit. Oh, my son, his birthday was yesterday. He turned 19. Oh, some... my grandson's birthday was yesterday, too. He uh, turned 16. Okay. I know. Now that, you know, you never think about it, but after we start, oh, it's my son's birthday. Oh, it's such and such birthday. Everybody has a birthday. <laughs> it's a lot of people who have the March 13th birthday. Nice. Mm -hmm. He just hung out, went to a restaurant with his friends. 
who are his roommates. <laughs> well, his roommate, and then they have a suite mate where the room next door, they share the rest, the bathroom. So one of the guys in there, he actually was the one who came and picked him up. And then his roommate that lives in the room with him, he was there. Uh, one of his friends from high school that he's been hanging out, that he continues to hang out with. And I think he mentioned another name that was there, but I don't remember that name. But I think it was somebody from high school as well. So they just met at the restaurant. It's a place called Drake's. And they had to meet kind of late. It was at 10 o'clock. But one of the guys works, the ones that's here that stays home, that's not in school, he had to work. So they had to wait for him to get off to kind of hang out. So that's what he wanted to do. So that works for me. And he was home before midnight. <laughs> So we still have, I still have the white. I want to put a little bit of, um, you guys can see, I just kind of put some, a little bit of white. Again, it doesn't have to be solid here on the tub. Kind of going in that direction. Using kind of, a flat brush. I'm using the flat brush. Yes, ma'am. A little bit of white and that's you know us again trying to add a little bit of dimension and also now i'm gonna go i switched around on brushes today normally i grab that flat brush and we go at it but i'm gonna i'm switching to a smaller brush because i want to put a little bit on the um uh, right here on the front of the the, tub, the the claw the claw feet mm -hmm. then I also want to put some accents hopefully your leaves are a little bit dry I just want to put some on the um the edge Kind of give them a little bit of dimension as well. Just run it down one side of your leaf and normally towards the top, because I'm thinking if the light was hitting it, that's where it would be in the top. You guys see that I'm doing that where I'm putting that towards the top on like one side of the leaf. I don't know, don't know what I did with the blue that I use in the picture, the turquoise. I found this <laughs> an eight ounce bottle of this turquoise blue on the clearance rack. And I, I loved it. And I like tore it up. <laughs> I've used it use so much of it. I thought I thought I had ran out of it because I knew I used it a lot. So I'm going to grab it. You can again, any color blue you like or anything just kind of um, I picked the blue, the teal because of the, the contrast um, like um, a, a blue and pink kind of contrast keep each other. So but instead of using the just a true blue, I just used the the teal, um, but I just like that contrast. You can grab whatever works for you. And um, I am going to, you can also still use that flat brush to add that accent on the opposite of where we put the white. And again, just adding dimension, actually just adding a little bit of color is really what I, all I'm doing to break it up a little bit. 
Okay. Heavier, light, whichever you like. So I did that on the tub. And then I put a few a few uh, accents in my flowers. And again, the same method where I said just little short strokes, the same thing it's in there. And sometimes, you know, like I can say place it here, place it that. Sometimes you just have to look at it and get kind of a feel. Very charming. <laughs> Thank you, Patrice. Just um, kind of get a feel uh, what feels good for you. Um, you might have to like um, step back away from the painting a little bit and get a feel. It's like I'm putting these, um, the blue, adding the blue, kind of find balance. Um, sorry, guys. I, you know, I got like, you know, they say artists. Sometimes they say they're kind of, you know, uh, weird and a little off kilter. But, uh, and so when I say that about trying to find balance and, and feel things out, it sounds kind of artsy fartsy, but um, but it's just true. You know, you got to find when you're looking at stuff, you want balance. Just uh, like if you're hanging pictures on the wall, you might have pictures uh, on one side of the wall that go a little bit different from the other side. As long as it brings you want you're still trying to find balance. It's the same thing in, in a painting. I'm trying to find balance with where. I uh, made a might have thrown my uh, my accents in there. So is that enough? Does that um, satisfy me? Make sure I can see the blue. I'm just making my now my making them a little bit wider because I I wanted to stand out a little more. Oh, there it is now. I can see it. I can see the blue now. The shorter uh the thinner strokes I didn't see it, but now with that you can I can see it. Now that's basically my finishing touches on the painting. When I think about it, and um, take and add. A little bit of a shadow underneath my my tub. And those are my finishing touches. So we, we're going to continue on, but I am going to pause the video for YouTube and just want to say to the YouTube viewers, thanks for watching. You guys, this is here um, to come back anytime you want to, to rewind, watch it over, stop and pause, whichever works for you. Change up the colors, uh, repaint it. You know, um, painting, in my opinion, comes with practice. Um uh, I that's why I always like to recommend when people say, well, you know, my child or my child, my niece or somebody, they want to paint. They like it. What do you suggest? I suggest a book, some type of like a journal almost so that you can um, you start practicing and you can towards the end, you can see your progression. So. It's just all about kind of practice, if it's something that you're interested in, you want to do and it's like, oh, I can't paint practice. It'll come to you. So. I do want to say that and also to like and subscribe to all the YouTube folks. And so we are going to stop YouTube. But guys, you know, we like to do.